Hi, my name is Matthew Joll. I'm an associate professor of architecture and also co-director of the Arctic Design Group. Last month, the federal government passed a $2.3 trillion spending bill. You probably all know this as the COVID relief bill. What you probably don't know is that buried in this bill was major news for the future of the Arctic. $500 million was allocated for the development of a new deep water port on the Western Alaskan coast in the city of Nome. The significance of this is hard to overstate. The city's future as an Arctic maritime logistics and commercial hub and its importance in terms of national security and the future of the US Arctic will define the development of the city for decades to come. In this advanced research studio landing Nome, which is part of the Arctic Design Group Studio Series, we'll be exploring the catalyzing effect of the new port infrastructure on the future development and design of the city. A key question guiding this exploration will be, what are the potential spatial, material, and cultural systems that can emerge from the design of relationships at the intersection between infrastructure, city, and landscape in such a highly dynamic and extreme environment? The Arctic is a vast region surrounded by eight nations, with extremes of both climate and geography is experiencing unprecedented transformation due to the effects of climate change and global forces of economic development. City of Nome, located at one of the principal passages to the Arctic along the Bering Strait and opposite Russia, plays a key national strategic role. It's also a hub community for a large portion of coastal and northern Alaska, for which there are currently no deep water ports and only limited maritime activity for essential services and supplies. This is despite the fact that with a decrease in sea ice, there's a major increase in shipping throughout the Bering Strait um, and also through the Arctic. Nome is a city of about, about 3,800 people. Built, the city is built on permafrost, which is permanently frozen ground. Um, it has an extreme Arctic climate in which the ocean is frozen for about five months of the year. The Nubiak people have lived in the area for over 10,000 years. However, the city of Nome itself was formed as a gold rush boom town in the late 19th century. The population quickly increased to around 20,000 before rapidly de declining in the 1920s. Today, it's primarily a transportation, logistics, service, and mining hub for interior and northern Alaska. As a result of the interest in developing a deep water port along coastal Alaska, multiple detailed studies were carried out by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. The city of Nome has also maintained a comprehensive 10 year development plan, which we will study in the studio. Although there have been numerous proposals developed for the infrastructure components of the port, as you can see in these images, there's been little effort to carry out design studies for the impact and linkages to the city, not only during the process of port construction, but also from future economic growth and investment. One of the defining characteristics of development in the Arctic is a prioritization of engineering approaches and historically many ideas have been reported from the south and are unsuitable for the climate and context of the north. We'll be exploring this issue by focusing our effort on developing urban architectural landscape systems at the boundaries and edges between the new port and the city. Within this domain, we'll foreground ideas such as temporality and cycles of change, as described earlier, on the spatial, material, and cultural systems that can emerge from the design of relationships at the intersection between infrastructure, city, and landscape. Key pedagogical components of the studio will come from the recently published book, Mediating Environments, which develops a series of design approaches that simultaneously employ scientific methods of investigation and analysis with cultural interpretation and synthesis into clear spatial propositions. The studio will also have three distinct phases, positioning, a four-week period, design direction, scenario development, four weeks, and comprehensive design development, six weeks. Some examples of past studio work from, from ADG Studios are shown in these slides. We'll also be working with partner organizations in Alaska, which include the Army Corps of Engineers, called Region Research and Engineering Lab, Arctic Youth Ambassadors, CORAC, um, and also in parallel with the National Science Foundation project we have ongoing. Thank you, and please don't hesitate to get in touch with me if I can provide you with further info about the studio.